So what is a clawback in private equity? A clawback occurs when the LPs claw back capital that has been given to the GP in excess of the performance fees that the GP deserves. Now, I know that sounds complicated, so let's explain that a little further. If you remember from our last video, we talked about an American waterfall. And in an American waterfall, GPs will collect performance fees on a deal-by-deal -deal basis. Now, what if a private equity fund has a few early successful exits in the fund? Well, under an American waterfall, the GPs will get to collect performance fees after these successful exits. But what if the rest of the investments in the portfolio, which would be currently unrealized, are later realized at a loss? Well, if that happens, and we were to calculate the overall performance fees that the GP deserves versus the performance fees that they've collected, we'll notice that there's a difference. We'll notice that the GP has collected a lot more performance fees than it deserves. If this happens, the limited partner will trigger the clawback clause, which states that the GP will return all excess performance fees that it received to the limited partner. Or in other words, the limited partner will claw back the excess performance fees from the general partner. So we just told you what a clawback is. Let's test to make sure you're paying attention. A clawback occurs during a European waterfall. True or false? The answer is false. A clawback occurs during an American waterfall because that's when a GP collects performance fees on a deal-by-deal -deal basis. Now, you're probably thinking issues could arise when the LP goes to claw back money from the GP. And you're right. Sometimes the individual partners at the private equity firm may no longer be with the firm. They may personally spend the money or go bankrupt, or they may even pass away. So when looking at a clawback, you need to think in advance of some of the issues that might occur.